Please leave your hands up, I'll get you. All right, you got it. Um, obviously, uh, going to the fourth quarter, you know, 14-13, and, uh, you know, in, in a fight. And so, um, you know, tip the cap to, to uh, USF for, uh, for fighting. But I uh, also, you know, as many things that we look at uh, that, are, that are things we've got to definitely clean up. Um, you know, uh, talked on the locker room about, you know, learning the lessons of, of things that, you know, didn't go right, but also understand that if we just keep fighting, um, good things can happen. And in the fourth quarter, uh, staying away from the penalties and take and turnovers, uh, it's amazing what can happen. And so uh, defense did a nice job forcing some field goals. And, uh, and you know, just as we went through the game there in the fourth quarter, uh, I think those were, were key, you know. So us scoring touchdowns and finishing drives other than the fumble, uh, which was, was certainly unfortunate. Again, a lot of things we need to clean up. Um, guys got to do a better job and make a big play. Got to tuck it away. All the things we work on, all the things we discuss, uh, could be, you know, a lot to learn from. And so excited about uh, the challenge, the opportunity, because that's that's what this that's what this is. And I think you need games like this, and you know, need. I don't think this isn't a wake up call or nothing like that. Um, it's, it's nothing like that. It's just you know, just keep raising the standard. I think this game last year was uh, an important one. You know, that propelled them last year and probably be the same thing this year. You know, that's my hope. Any right, questions? So let's start with the front left, Chase. Right here. So, what are some of the things that you do in, in practice to, uh, with ball security, limiting turnovers? And that's, is that something that'll be more of a focal point this coming week? Yeah, I mean, every, every, every day there's, there's something, but Tuesdays is a big time priority. Uh, you start the week off with that. And, there's other there's other things. I mean, it, it is a you know we talk about the the ball as a program, you know, and uh, how important it is uh, taking care of it, you know, and also getting it. And so, um, it really, we won't have to raise the level of how much we stress it because we stress it significantly. And so, you know, it's 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 guys just learning, you know, that when you make a big play, there's there's people behind you, they're chasing you, uh, you know, they're coming from all angles. And uh, we got to do a better job uh, being conscious of that. And, you know, this guy's got another game a little bit, you know, and um, got, got a little loose with it. So uh, we'll, get, we'll watch on film. I don't know exactly where the hub fumbles were created, but, you know, a lot of the things we talk about, I think, are what happened. Down the left side, Nick. Yeah, I don't think we saw Elijah Pritchard on offense until about six minutes left. Uh, what went into him not playing until then and kind of then inserting him at that point? Yeah, he had a, he, he got. Uh, last game, um, just a minor, minor ding. We were trying to, trying to get through it. He didn't practice much early in the week, but practice Wednesday and uh, Thursday, and so um, was ready to go. Um, probably worked a little bit more on the left side, uh, and uh, we felt good, you know, after the week was uh, kind of gone through the week uh, that, you know, that we were just going to roll with what we had uh, with Book and Gino. Um, but you know, he was he was ready to go. He could good start of the game and uh, we were just trying to trying to hold on as long as possible uh, you know just try to try to keep him 100% healthy he got through just fine tonight and uh, you know I think we're, we're going to be in better shape offensive line wise going into next week and so it was a little a little touch and go there at some points uh, during the week with a few different guys jump to the right side to Katie right around just kind of building off that, how did you see the offense shift and change in that final six minutes when you came in the game and kind of things opened up? Yeah, it was just not having penalties, you know, not being behind the chains. Uh, you guys saw it too, and and uh, it's hard to call a game. It's hard to uh, to to overcome, you know, second long, third long situations. Uh, and so, you know, we had to learn some lessons the hard way tonight. Uh, there was no doubt about it. You know, two touchdowns that are called back. Uh, you know, because of holding calls and obviously the turnover inside the five yard line. Uh, but, you know, when we did hold and we were, you know, moving the, moving the ball forward, um, good things were happening. But we have to be able to do it on consecutive plays over and over and over again and have sustained drives. And so, you know, last week we probably didn't get put in that position to where we had to sustain drives, right? We were explosive. Uh, the ball is down the field. Got guys were making huge runs and so you know uh, that mindset you know has to has to kind of carry over from this week to, to next week in an understanding that we have to we have to grind the ball grind it out every once you know 
grind it out. It can't just be explosive plays. And with that comes, you know, executing. Uh, and there's other things too that we certainly can be better on. Things we can help Jalen out with. Um, you know, Jalen, I know how he is. He's going to put it all on himself, and that's the way he always is. But there's other things we can do to help him out. Little, you know, you, sometimes they're kind of on the borderline of a missed assignment. It's just guys not executing and helping him out as well as they could up front. The skill guys, um, it's, a whole, it's a whole team effort. On offense, every guy's got to execute. Everyone's got to do their job for it to, to go clean. Go to Mike on the left side of you. <clears throat> on some of those penalties, I think we saw you get a little bit heated, you know, with the officials. Just for others that haven't watched you, you know, over the years, just how often does it happen, and what were you seeing on some of those that was getting to you? Yeah, I just, I mean, it, it, you know, they they obviously saw and I saw some things too on why they call stuff, but uh, you know, there's there's other things I felt, you know, and when you get into where it's that tight, now all of a sudden everything gets called tight, and so I get it, you know, it's just, um, yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to trying to. Make sure kind of that everyone's held accountable, and uh, got to hold my guys accountable when we are executing and doing things. And there's a lot of calls that I mean, most of them we were holding. You know, we were doing things that uh, you can't do, and uh, we get, we got to clean up our our part of it. But uh, you know, just making sure that you know the things that I saw also that I was addressing uh, that I wanted to, to make sure they kept an eye on. A few questions in the middle. Start with Steven right here. <coughs> Coach, on the uh, touchdown run, Jim Miller just saw the passion and how he's fighting in the end zone. And what does he bring this all fish from that perspective, his passion as a running back? Yeah, he's he's, a, he's just really quiet when, uh, you know, he doesn't like to say too much, but when he gets a chance to touch the ball, you know, we see what can happen. And, um, you know, you don't get to see it a lot in practice because, you know, it's, it's different tempos. The scrimmages, we've seen times where what you saw tonight, him getting loose and making those guys miss. I love the cutback. Uh, he did it early enough to where really, you know, there was a lot of a lot, a lot of chance for the defender to make a play. So um, he's explosive. Uh, he can run inside. He can run outside. Uh, just you know, uh, did, did a nice job all around. And uh, you know, I know he'll take it super hard too with the, the one turnover he had there too. So uh, you know, he got to fire in his eyes and, and he came back. You know, wanted the ball, and that's what I love about him. You know, that's what I love about a lot of our guys. You know, they, they want to get back in there. They want to get back in the fight and go help the team. Let's go back to the room, Mario. Uh, Coach, towards the end of the game, there's a couple times there were some momentum starters, I would say, for momentum with Brian Williams having that big touchdown catch, and also, too, with Jalen Blackway stepping up in a big punt return, kickoff return. I guess to have those guys be so young and make plays like that when it's really needed, how impressive is that? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of a lot of new faces, young, and even some just guys coming into this program that have really helped us out. And, and the foundation is still all the guys that have been here. You know, they understand the standard, they understand that the leadership down in the locker room, whether it's halftime, whether it's the end of the game, um, just you know, holding us, holding each other accountable, including themselves, but also you know, showing that hey, we 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 can be better. Look what would happen if we just played our game and did our job and did it the right way. And uh, you know. Um, Ryan, you know, and the, and, the, and the catch that he had, you know, I love that um, that Jalen has enough confidence in him to, to rip it out there and let him go make a play, you know, because there's a lot of options on that one play for Jalen. He can hand the ball off, he can throw a little perimeter throw, and he can also throw a, throw a hitch out there. And uh, he chose to go to Ryan with the hitch and identification, being on the same page. You know, I love that he trusts, you know, Ryan in that moment, you know, when, uh, when we Got to keep the chains moving. You know, we're looking to score, of course, but uh, you know, Ryan coming through. We've done that a few times now, obviously, and uh, you know, those are just the steps that uh, I love seeing. Uh, Box stepping in when we needed a return, you know, and doing doing what he did. Uh, that was that was really key. He just you know unfazed, hopped in there. Uh, he's a lot. Of, he's very confident. Uh, we've got a lot of confidence in him. Unfortunately, obviously, Cole went down. He was ready to go. Time for a few more questions. Start on the left side to Tommy. What did you see, or what did you think of Tyler Booker's move to left tackle? And then he's so good at run blocking from that left guard spot. Do you feel like you guys kind of were limited uh, in that move, or you know, in some of your consistency in the running game? Yeah, so, yeah, no. Uh, I think wherever he's at, we're really good. You know, um, you know, I'm sure he's going to look at it and, and learn a lot about playing tackle, uh, just with the number of snaps he's played in his career. You know, versus guard, and uh, you know, but you know. Didn't worry too much about him at all. Um, 
I think a lot of it is just the number of reps that they've had together. And it was just pretty much this week for a couple few practices. And, and it showed. It showed that we weren't on the same page with different things and different calls. And so, uh, you know, they got to tighten that up. Um, but Book uh, certainly provides a punch and impact wherever he's at. When he's inside, it's just the, the firmness of the pocket, the run blocking, the, the push off the line of scrimmage. Um, it's, it's, it's strong, you know. And when he was outside today, I didn't really worry too much about, you know, a rush, you know, on a one on one. Um, I thought he looked really good in practice. I was excited on Tuesday when he took some reps there. And, uh, you know, we rotated a lot of different groups um, or multiple groups of guys in different spots uh, throughout the week. But he, uh, you know, he looked good there. And I was very confident going into tonight with him at left tackle. Jump to right side, Charlie. You mentioned a couple of minutes ago when Cole Adams went out. Just do you have an update on where things stand with him? Yeah, he just had an arm injury. And uh, I, I would say we'll have to see, you know, uh, exactly where that's at, um, just the extent, to the extent of that, you know. Um, I didn't necessarily see, and I didn't even realize it was his arm until he kind of got up. I thought it was something, something lower leg, but uh, you know, we'll kind of see where he was at throughout the week. But uh, you know, unfortunately, I mean, he was, I think, more just frustrated that he got hurt uh, than it was maybe even the pain that he was going through. But I'm sure, you know, he feel good. Last question, Ryan, here in the back. Coach, the way your team finished tonight, what does that say about your team? What have you learned about your team? How does that carry forward to the next week and what's that? Yeah, I'm not going to ever question. I told them this. I'm never going to question them. They'll want to. You know, and, and the way they practice, it's it, they practice hard. Um, the energy, uh, you know, uh, in the locker room before the game, I mean, they wanted to go out there. And, and uh, you know, I, I felt like there, there was a lot of guys straining out there. Um, it's a word we use a lot to to make plays, to finish. Uh, some sometimes we're straining too much. We gotta understand that uh, you know you can't make that push in the back, or you can't you know tug the jersey in that split second of a hold. Um, and those moments were the ones that cost us a lot of a lot of momentum, a lot of big plays. And so um, you know, in the in the locker, we just again we talked about uh, learning from it. And there's uh, some great lessons on learning that if we just stay in the fight and we just keep playing and live to see another down. It's amazing what this team, team can accomplish. And so, you know, remember this this time when it was 14-13, uh, uh, I believe that's what it was. And, and, and uh, you know, you just you just kept swinging. You just kept playing. And uh, I'm, I'm proud of that. That's what that's what it's going to take to win some close games, even if they're not pretty, because all wins aren't going to be that way. Thank you, Coach. Awesome. Thank you, Coach.